So Fire TV Stick is one of the most popular streaming devices out there, but there's one big problem that most people notice after a year or so. It slows down quite a bit. I mean, here, check this out. So if I try and open apps, it takes a good two to three seconds to actually open the app and get into it. Sometimes the UI gets stuck while navigating the home screen. And the worst of all, all Fire TV Sticks come with just eight gigabytes of internal storage. So if you try and install too many apps, you get the memory insufficient error. But the good news is you can actually speed up your Fire TV Stick, even if it slows down after a year or so with software updates and whatnot. So I'm Vamsin from Smartness Proxy, and if you're new here, click on that subscribe button and that bell icon so you get notified every time we put out a new video. With that being said, let's see how you can actually speed up your Fire TV Stick if it slows down, shall we? First thing you need to check if the Fire TV Stick is slow is the power supply. Is your Fire TV Stick directly connected to your USB port on the back of your TV? So as per Amazon's description, your Fire TV Stick seems to require a 900 milliamp to work effectively. A 1 amp while most USB outlets on TV offer 5 amps. Now most Fire TV Sticks can work for years even on 0.5 amps. But if the power supply isn't right on your Fire TV Stick, it might run into sluggish performance while doing heavy tasks such as gaming or updating the firmware. Therefore, it's recommended that you use the box power cable and the adapter that come with the Fire TV Stick for optimal performance. And if you think about it, there's a reason why Amazon's spending so much money on these adapters, so just make use of that. Okay, this one does come with a disclaimer. If you still are under warranty for your Fire TV Stick, do not try this or if you're unsure of what you're doing, you know, just don't try this. So if your Fire TV Stick gets too hot while using it, it probably will shut down automatically. In that case, you can actually drill holes onto your Fire TV Stick and make sure that there's, you know, proper ventilation for it. Now use your fingernail or a flathead screwdriver to open the Fire TV Stick plastic casing. It's relatively easy to open and using a small drill, carefully make holes onto the casing and then put it back. Close your Fire TV Stick and enjoy the improved performance. There are several people who've tried this on Reddit and adding a head usually stops the Fire TV stick from overheating. So if you're keen on that, check that out. So far, we've seen some physical changes that you can make to actually you know, boost your performance for your Fire TV stick if it does slow down. But there are some settings that you can actually change to you know, take some load off of your Fire TV stick to boost performance. The first thing you need to do is disable your video and audio autoplay that plays on your home screen every time you boot up your Fire TV stick. So if you want to do that, go to settings, preferences, featured content and turn off both allow video autoplay and allow sound autoplay options. And the second setting that you might want to check is if your automatic downloads or updates are disabled so that you can actually, you know, not perform background activities as you're just watching TV or whatever. If you don't know already, a major Fire TV Stick UI refresh is about to be released next month and it's a good idea to make sure your Fire TV Stick stays updated. However, automatic updates can happen in the background while you're watching something or may you know, spoil entire experience. To turn it off, go to Settings, Applications, App Store and Automatic Updates. Finally, you can disable some services that are on by default but most people just never use. For example, you can disable Whisper Sync by going to Settings, Applications, Game Circle, and Whisper Sync for games. Next, go to Settings, Preferences, Data Monitoring, and turn off the single setting. All Fire TV sticks have 8GB of internal storage and 1GB of RAM. This is pretty good in the beginning, but over time you install apps and you know you have movies in there and it just slows down because of all that stuff. So one way to fix this is to actually uninstall some of the apps that you're not using and just lying around in the background. I'm sure there's plenty of them, just go to settings, applications, select manage install applications and select the app that you want to uninstall and click on that. If you don't want to uninstall an app, just use the four stop option every time you want to use your Fire TV stick. If you want to do that, you can also use an app called Background Apps and Process List. You can use those to find all the current running apps on your Fire TV stick and then disable them all. So those were some of the tips and tricks that you can actually use to boost your performance or you know, have a smoother performance if your Fire TV stick does slow down over the course of years. 
or just a couple of months, depends on how many updates or how much storage you use. Anyway, I'm Van Dien from Smart DNS Proxy, and if you're new here, check out smartdnsproxy.com if you're keen to unblock geo-restricted content. Like, say, if you're in, you know, New Zealand and you want to watch Netflix US because New Zealand gets hardly any TV shows or movies, you can just use the VPN that we get for about five bucks a month, and then turn on any, you know, like most of Netflix US content, BBC UK. What have you? There's tons of those, tons of streaming services, and we've made video for every one of those streaming devices. So go check that out if you're keen on that. As always, I'm Vamsi again. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.